Do you want to get admission for Korean universities? Here is the shortcut for eligibility for applying for Korean universities. In this article and video, I will provide a comprehensive explanation regarding the admission process for foreigners to Korean universities. Specifically for those who are not fluent in Korean while residing abroad. There are a vast number of individuals who express interest in attending Korean universities from various parts of the world. Given the current global interest in Korea's status and Korean wave culture, the country has gained momentum and is considered a dynamic and energetic nation. Accordingly, Korean universities have been actively working to attract foreign students to their institutions, as they are beyond the established quota. To this end, Korean universities have made efforts to promote themselves abroad, and there are various events organized to explain the admission process. However, foreign students, including those residing in Korea, may face difficulties with unfamiliar terminologies while preparing their application documents. Moreover, they may lack knowledge about which university to apply to or which department to select. Consequently, there are numerous unknowns that may confuse foreign applicants while preparing their documents. Therefore, in this article, I will take you through the admission process for foreigners step by step. Firstly, it is essential to understand the eligibility requirements for foreign students. To be eligible, both parents of the student must have acquired foreign nationality, not Korean nationality. The country of residence of the examinee does not impact the foreign admission process. It is crucial to note that the most critical factor is whether or not the student has acquired foreign nationality. Regardless of whether they resided in Korea or overseas. In the case of adoption, the student must have been adopted by a foreign parent before entering elementary school. Moreover, most individuals who have obtained multiple nationalities must complete a report of nationality departure before submitting their application. A report receipt or report alone is not recognized as valid documentation. Suppose a student has two parents, and one of them passes away or they get divorced. In that case, the student's nationality will follow the nationality of the surviving parent. For instance, if a student's mother is Chinese, and the father is Korean, and the student lives with the mother after the father's death, then the student will possess Chinese nationality. In such a scenario, the student can apply for foreign admission. There are various forms of nationality that can be applied to the foreign admission process. Some parents intentionally give up their Korean nationality to gain foreign nationality to assist their children in gaining admission to universities. Consequently, some individuals may seek to acquire foreign citizenship. Suppose the student and the mother are both Indonesian, and the mother comes to Korea and marries a Korean man. In that case, the student's nationality should, in principle, belong to the father's resident registration. Therefore, such students are not eligible for foreign admission due to their Korean citizenship. However, if the student intentionally registers with their mother's resident registration, they will follow their mother's nationality, as mentioned earlier. In the current context, Korean universities are now considering cases where one parent has custody of the child while entering a foreign country. For example, if the mother is Indonesian and married to a Korean man, and the father is of Korean nationality, but has not adopted the child, the student will not be eligible for foreign admission to Korean universities. Universities are now requiring that both parents have foreign nationality to be considered as a foreigner. Parenting and adoption are considered to have been established based on their legal marriage itself. On the basis of the eligibility for Korean universities admission, are you an international student looking to gain admission to a Korean university? The admission process can be complex, and it is essential to know the requirements and eligibility criteria. SIMI Consulting International Admissions Consulting offers research-oriented consulting services to assist students in obtaining admission to Korean universities. Our consulting services include one-on-one -on -one individual document analysis and optimal university selection. We specialize in international studies admissions, global admissions, language specialized admissions, special case admissions, and foreigners admissions consulting. Our team provides qualification confirmation, application availability, and precision diagnosis of passability to ensure a smooth admission process. SIMI Consulting prepares perfect documents such as apostille certification and translation notarization. 
We manage document preparation, specification management, and final university selection with flow chart management. To ensure that all documents are perfect and meet the required standards for admission. To summarize, foreign students looking to study in Korean universities must be aware of the qualification requirements. SIME Consulting offers a personalized approach to simplify the admission process and help students navigate the complexities of eligibility criteria. Contact us today at 025088209 for more information on our consulting services.